All right, so only because I went through a lot to try to get this out. This is an FMC 1614. If you look at the manual, it has nothing to do with what was there. These are the cylinder caps. Okay, in order to get these out, I used a 3H rod. Actually, I put a piece of Unistrut like that. And then the rod in the middle with the nut in the back and used it as an extractor. I was able to extract two of them. This one was a little more of a challenge because. But anyway, that's how you get that out. Now, when you take that apart, you run into, you run into this. You can turn the pump on, well not turn on the pump, but turn it over so that they come to the front here. That size is going to be the one inch. Once you've got that center one out, it's got a spring in the back, does not have a lot of tension. So you can take that out and then bring out the, um, uh, bring out that nut and the spring. Now in the manual it says you have to put something in there that's got a slot in order to be able to turn it. That's not the case with these. What you need is a piece of half inch pipe with some threads. And once that nut is out, this is going to thread into it. You're going to wiggle it on out. It's going to come out. Again, once you've got that nut and the spring out, that's what you're going to use. One um, half inch galvanized piping. Now, when you get the new, this is my packing here. It was just torn up. So once you get the new packing on, in order to get it back in, you're going to get a piece of PVC, one inch, and a couple. The coupling will fit enough. It slides right in without an issue. So you're going to, once you've got the new packing on there, you're gonna present it. And then, put, uh, actually what I did is, I threaded the half inch onto it, put enough just to grip it there, backed out the half inch, got the one inch coupling with a piece of, it doesn't have to be that long, but I didn't want to cut it. And then I took a piece of wood and went whacking the back until it sat inside. Took a couple of hits not too hard so once that's in uh, then it's time to put the spring and the nut back on I had to put some stuff in here to keep the nut from sliding all the way back but once you get it on there I used a drill so by myself but if you can get somebody else to help you push it in just get a couple of uh, turns on it and then finish it off it doesn't have to be super tight, just enough to hold it, really, you know, just hand tight. Um, started taking apart all these hoses, thinking I had to go in the back. But once I was able to actually get it out, I saw it was the packing. This is useless, to nothing. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If I can help you, I will. Good luck.